Turning now to a story we've been following. One man is dead after a shooting last night at a local gas station as police are still working to identify who he is and they're asking the community to come forward with any information. Our Vanya Joseph is live at the Circle K off of Sherwood with more details. Hey Vanya. Hey, Jacob and Renee. Well, when I came out here earlier, police were right back here on this scene, going through some of that surveillance video with the manager here at Circle K. And this door back here was completely shattered earlier, and now it has since been replaced. You can see that. But as police are actively working on this case, the people who work in this area say they are not comfortable. It just continues to get worse. South Sherwood Forest Boulevard is a busy area, but when Holly closed the Goodyear Auto Shop for the night, she didn't expect to hear about a deadly shooting hours later. Close at five, yes. So it's really close to, you know, us being here. At about 7 p.m. Thursday night, shots rang through the Circle K gas station at North Harrells Ferry Road and South Sherwood Forest Boulevard. Upon arrival, we found a Hispanic male who hasn't been identified at this particular time. He was shot multiple times. BRPD spokesman Sergeant Elgene McNeely says the man was shot after a verbal argument with another group of Hispanic men. He died on scene. McNeely tells me this isn't usual activity for the area, but that doesn't put Holly at ease, whose job is right next door. It's kind of scary, you know, that we're going out every day and, you know, getting information from customers' cars and, you know, out in the parking lot and back in the shop. McNeely says police are actively working on tracking down the suspects and identifying the victim. We uh, collected his fingerprint. We sent that to the state police crime lab. We're uh, talking to witnesses. We also are reviewing surveillance footage. In the meantime, Holly says more can be done. I think things that can be started now is regular police patrol and a regular police presence. You know, not just whenever things are going on, but all the time. Yeah, and there's still so many unanswered questions about that unidentified victim. Where's his family? Where is he from? And what happens next if it turns out that he may be an undocumented immigrant? And so police are going to press the Hispanic community in this area, hoping for more information. And as that information comes to us, we're going to share it with you on air and online at BRProud.com. Live at South Sherwood Forest Boulevard, Vanya Joseph, NBC Local 33 News. All right. Thank you, Vanya.